In May, I went to that brook with a rocky bottom, gravel. The uh, pointer started to go wrong. Uh, shut off for Cantley or just not working. So I changed the battery, but what I didn't know is there was a tiny hole and some little piece of sand got into that hole into the machine and uh, having trouble since May. And I just solved the problem to this. I knew that others have problems like this. Uh, I thought my pointer was invincible, but still I did put tape over many, many times, replace the tape, and slowly, slowly, the little tiny hole appeared, but I missed it. Okay, the tip uh, was punch, because um, I use it in lot in gravel and rock. And uh, a little sand came in, and I tried to fix the hole, but the sand was already inside. And a friend gave me that cap, and it lasts another few months, but now it stopped. And today I fix it. Okay, I open up the Garrett orange. I was pulling uh, with the nose plier, and when I pressed the power button it finally slide out. Wow! And I shake the inside. That dirt came out. The sand built up inside. And I took... I took the inner guts out. And uh, that is the little vibrator there. Anyway. Then that's the other side. Take the battery out. Okay. So I put the battery back in. This side is way. There you go. Reactivate the buzzer. Your metal. Yeah, it's working now. Okay, okay, okay. So now the job is to put this back in. Good luck with that. Okay. I use long nose plier, a little star screwdriver. There's only one screw to remove. Tape to fix it, some glue also to fix the hole before I put the tape on. I use a file to push back the tip inside, but I talk about it after. If you have one of those, this plastic flexible stiff tube is better to do that job to push the tip back in. done it was not easy to put it back in it was as not easy as dropping your ice cream on the ground and try to put it back in your cone never happened to me but it was about that uneasy yeah.